Hey guys, I'm Daisho and I am here bringing you some magic and today I'm going to play a game with March to War but briefly before that I'm going to go through how I have my deck set up because I know a lot of people have been setting it up a little bit differently lately. Um, I know that Laser had his with uh, no life gain in it <laughs> and uh, that was it's an interesting way to run it. Definitely not the way that I plan on running it, but it's definitely still an interesting way. So anyway, I'm just going to slowly scroll through it, and yep, this is how I run it. No big guys. The uh, the biggest creature in here, I believe, is um, Ceridon Yearling, but that's not really what you need. You just need Lean and Sun Standard, and then it just means that decks like Realm can't hurt you too much by bouncing one of your creatures, and decks uh, with removal can't hurt you too much by removing your creatures, since you don't really care much about them. So that's uh, one of the major awesomenesses about this deck. There's a lot more that I could talk about, but basically I run barely any red. Um, it's kind of just like a splash of red for Lightning Helix and uh, Searing Meditation as well as Glory of Warfare because those three cards are just so amazing for the deck. They make it so much better. Um, can't find a game here, apparently. Let's just jump in one. And hopefully somebody will pop right in and be like, Oh my god, there you go. The Land's End wants to play with Daisho. Alright, let's do this shit. March to war. Okay, so hopefully I'll win. Then it'll be easy. This video will be done. Um, one thing that I did want to say is that I'm not going to be posting videos for the next few days, sorry. And sorry that I've been slacking in the past few days also. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Not too much of a fan of it because I don't have any mountains, and there's only a few in the deck, so it's kind of hard to pick them up, but Soul Warden plus Squadron Hawk is going to be a keeper for me. Um, so that is, again, the problem. There's no real fixing, so if you don't have a ton of red in, then there's sometimes where you just won't get the red, but the thing is, you really only need one red, and you really want only one red, because Conqueror's Pledge costs, um, costs three. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. Picked up the red Conqueror's Pledge. I uh, should have... It doesn't really matter. Anyway, Conqueror's Pledge costs three white to play, so you don't really want more than two reds ever. And uh, I guess I didn't really have to play the red yet, but um, let's go get a couple of these guys. I, I like hit Y so quickly that uh, one time I actually just forgot to pick up my Squadron Hawks. All right, he's playing Dark Heavens. Um... What do I do about that guy? I think I just lightning helix him so I can get in. Um, oh, or I could just solemn offering him. What else do I need a solemn offering in that deck? Not really much, so um, let's get him out of here. I also could have used Recumbent Bliss, I suppose. The only problem is his turn two made me not play a Squadron Hawk, which I guess isn't really such a big deal. It's just one power over the game, so it's just really just one damage that I would have had to do anyway because he, he used his Gargoyle, but... Um, hopefully he doesn't have another one, that would be kind of annoying, I don't really want to waste another turn doing another removal spell, but again, I could still play the Squadron Hawk. Um, Wall of Essence. Okay, well, I still have my Flyers, so that isn't outstanding for me, nor is it terrible. Brave the Elements is cute, and uh, swing in for one here, and then play a couple of the Hawks, and then pass the turn right back. And I can start swinging in for three, and I hope I draw Glory of Warfare, or Lean in Sun Standard, or Marshall's Anthem for that matter. Um, what? There we go. Okay, I just had to wait for the Squadron Ox to ability to resolve or whatever. But, and Soul Warden and shit. So, I mean, like, just like that, I've already. Uh, Cadaver Amp. That's actually kind of annoying for me. Um, the question is do I just trade one of my Squadron Hawks, or do I, like,. Actually, waste a removal spell on that thing. I think the answer is going to be trade one of my squadron hawks, but that's really not preferable for me. And I want to be drawing some good cards right now instead of just planes like a conqueror's pledge. Maybe I don't even know how much that would help. Um, okay, and then play squadron hawk, and then pass the turn. He's going to play his gargoyle. I'm going to have to helix it, um, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Only problem is if he has another cadaver amp, then I'm really sad. Okay, he's just going to play the gargoyle, and then at his end step, I'll just get rid of it. Um, obviously not the actual end step, but like the game's fake end step. <laughs> um, what you got, bro? I mean, the only thing that you can have at instant speed right now is doom. What the hell are you doing? Oh, actually, that was a really good play, because <laughs> then I don't gain the life, but, all right, approve. Gets the Daisho stamp of approval. So, all right, we're swinging in for three here, and 
not looking too happy. He's he's only land drop four. I guess I guess he missed one or two. So that's really sucks. Um, I don't really like to post videos where my opponents miss land drops. It's kind of dumb. It's like, what's the point of even playing if Dark Heavens isn't hitting its land? Wow, he did have double Cadaver Imp though. Jesus, that's annoying. Um, and now I really need to draw something good. So even though <laughs> he's not drawing lands, he at least he's drawing good cards. There we go. There's Conqueror's Pledge. So I guess um, swing him with all the Hawks. And then lay Conqueror's Pledge. He's going to block one. And then I might even have to waste my Recumbent Bliss on the the Gargoyle. I don't know. Get in there, buddy. 20 of you. I wish I had Increasing Devotion in this game. I mean, I know it's a new card. But let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. Um, unless he deals with one of my dudes. Come on, play your other thing also. Yes. Perfect. Brave the elements. And now I can just do that. Declare. Oh, no, I can't do that. Damn it. Because they're different colored. <laughs> God. That's annoying. Um, all right, so what happens if I swing out? He blocks the Squadron Hawk. He takes one, two, three, four, five. Um... So he'll only take four damage, which isn't that bad. Oh, well, no, I can... What am I doing? I can just recumbent bliss that, and then brave the elements for white. Voila. Get in there, team. Punch him in the face for a billion. Protection from you. Good thing he's white. Okay. <laughs> and then take him right down to zero. Perfect. Go march to war. Winning the game. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's how I run my march to war. Woohoo. Raise the alarm. <laughs> that's how I run march to war. I think it's the best. Obviously, that wasn't really a good showing of uh, how good the deck is because my opponent was land screwed. And I kind of drew pretty well with that Conqueror's Pledge there. But what can you do? Sometimes you have to uh, you have to just post videos because you are really running late. But anyway, um, sorry, I'm not going to be posting couple, any videos in the next few days. Next week, I should be getting back to normal. Uh, I just had a really, really busy week at school, and I couldn't really make some videos. But sorry about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though, and have a nice day. Bye.